Gratitude is, uh, is a time of thanksgiving. Uh, God has been good to us, especially this year we have been through a lot and we are still standing. We have uh, many reasons to thank God. Uh, this is not my first gratitude concert. Uh, it's the second and uh, the first in Kenya. The first one was in Ivory Coast um, in 2022. Thank you. Um, and uh, yes, it's just uh, a reason for me is just to pause, sit, reflect, think about God's goodness in our lives. And uh, yeah, whenever I have a project, I write a song or I have a concert. If I have to invite someone, I have to, I have to be convinced by the Holy Spirit. So I've prayed about it in 2021. And... <laughs> I was led to uh, invite Joe, and fortunately it has not been able to come, uh, but God knows everything and this is the right time uh, and it's coming. Um, and I also know that gratitude is something that is dear to his heart. In fact, just after I started to plan my event in 2021, he just launched a gratitude tour. So I was like, wow, God. So yeah. It was like an answer for me. So when I now moved to Kenya uh, last year, I started planning this event for Sunday and I asked him to come and he's here. I'm from West, he's from West, <laughs> he's from East. So it's, uh, it's, it's in the spirit of unity. We are doing this together. Uh, we have a different background. <laughs> We were born in different parts of the, this world. Uh, for example, I was born in France, I was born in Kenya, <laughs> US. <laughs> Ghana. <laughs> Ghana. So we are bringing, uh, we are putting our, um, how can I say, gifts, talents together, knowledge. We are learning a lot from him. Uh, yes, to, to the glory of God. I don't know it's a coincidence, the event has happened during uh, a time when Kenya is having, you know, you mm. all know, I know what you, you know what is happening yes. right now. Yeah. Scales, demos and stuff. Yeah. And uh, most people you are targeting, they, they are these people, the the Gen Z's, which are, they are the people who are demonstrating. What message do you have to them as you invite them to this event? This one goes to all of you. <laughs> okay, let me start. Uh, first of all, I'd say it's a good thing. Uh, okay, I use the mic. Yeah, it's a good thing to see young people rise up and f advocate for justice and advocate for what is right. Uh, in fact, Scripture talks about being that uh, God saying that justice is the foundation, like of His throne, yeah, righteousness, yeah. And as such, we are living at a time when we are seeing this happening around us. And so the conversation is, how do we rally these young people, even as they talk about the fairness that needs to happen, justice that needs to happen, how do we align their conversation to what God has called us to? Because again, the foundation needs to be godly. And so as we have these conversations around things that are happening in Kenya right now with uh, talking about the finance bill and the demonstrations that are going on, is that at the end of the day, how do we align these conversations to God's word for what is right? And so I believe as we invite them to come, we are coming to say, we are partly coming to say thank you. Yeah. Uh, actually, not partly. The whole of, the, of this thing is we are coming to say thank you and we are grateful for the journey that God has walked us uh, with yeah. us. So as they come, with whatever they have in their hearts, we are releasing it before God and saying, Lord, thank you for where we've come from. Yes. Thank you for where you're going to. And we desire to see his will reign over our land. Mm. So that's the communication right here that I would say to the young mm. ones that will be coming to this place. And the other thing is they need to be hopeful. We have to carry yes. forth hope. 
as we speak about Kenya. Kenya is a great country, it's a great nation, yeah. attracting great people, yeah. as you can see here, <laughs> east meets west. And so we have to rally everyone towards the hope of a nation that is birthing a new thing. Mm. Yes. It's all said. Yeah. It's all said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not much that we can add to it. I mean, um, whilst we do, like he's saying, whilst um, a people stand for justice, a people request for things to be rightly done, um, you don't also want to do it whilst other things would have already been destroyed because mm -hmm. it would yeah. bring you back again yeah. to the beginning of the same yeah. things you want done right. Mm -hmm. So yeah. in all things, love should um, reign. Mm -hmm. In all things, peace should reign. In all things, um, the will of God should be done. Mm -hmm. And so I pray that as we gather, we'll be able to even lift up um, a time of thanksgiving also unto the Lord for how far he's brought Kenya as a land. Mm -hmm. I believe that it's time for Africa. Yes. Africa is rising. Africa is, yes. is, is, is becoming a beacon of hope to this world. And there's a lot that we need to show the, the world that truly the hand of God is over Africa. And I'm not talking just about Kenya. I'm talking about the entire Africa. So much change is going to happen. So much um, blessing is going to... In fact, the blessing that God has already positioned or placed over our lives, it's about to show as a people. So I believe that in all things we do, we should do it in love, we should do it in peace. And, um, but as we come on Sunday, we're coming to raise an altar of thanksgiving over uh, even this nation to the glory of God. Um, <laughs> um, whatever what God wants to do in Kenya, we can unlock the blessing with the word thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. My question to Minister Joe. Can you listen again? Ah, Asante. Is that not Asante? Did I say it right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Happy birthday once again. Thank you. Uh, through, uh, about this gratitude, mm. what is your main expectation for me? Oh, my expectation is as we lift up Thanksgiving, God will unlock many great and mighty things. Um, Thanksgiving. It's a really, really powerful mystery in the things of God and in the kingdom. Even we as human, whenever we do something for someone or there's this there's, there's gratitude from maybe a child or someone that we showed a bit of kindness to, when they're grateful, it, it has a way that it sort of like encourages us sometimes to even do more for them. You know, so I believe that if that is the case for us human how much more our heavenly father that when we are grateful he does more thanksgiving has the ability to unlock great things thanksgiving brings multiplication thanksgiving brings wholeness thanksgiving brings completion and so i pray that as we come together to to lift up thanksgiving many great things will be unlocked in the lives of of, of the people that will come into mm -hmm. this service so i'm trusting god for a mighty move of his spirit mm -hmm. um a heart of gratitude into mm -hmm. many hearts our lives mm -hmm. uh, as we lift up the name of jesus yeah as you go back to your ministry journey we've seen you doing a lot of collaboration mm -hmm. with international ministers the likes of uh, mm -hmm. and so to ask did you ever see yourself reaching to us ah uh, I think I did, I would say, because I think right from the beginning, uh, when God had given me the mandate to embark on this journey, there were many promises and many things he had said to me. I think what I didn't perceive was some of these things, how quick it came. Because I, I am anticipating it in a later time. And within a, a span of probably five to six years, I've seen God do amazing things in my life and I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Yes. Yeah, my name is uh, Kaka from Media TV. I'm a question to you, Mr. Joe, because uh, you see that uh, at the moment you are here in Bob uh, Chapel, because mm -hmm. we like to know if you will be performing or if you will be standing on you here or the other churches which you have like since now you became and you will be working with other artists in Kenya and doing collaboration as well. I, I... For now, because I just came for uh, gratitude, it probably might be just 
um, here in uh, Nairobi Chapel, basically for this trip. Uh, maybe in the future, there might be a few other ones. Um, collaborations, I'm sure, yes, yes, in the future. I would love to, there are a few, but already I'm, I'm doing one with Jane. I mean, now she's considered Kenyan, so it, 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 it ends there. So, but I think, I think in the future there are a few, um, a few people that I'm sure that I would get the opportunity to also be, be working with, yes. Okay. Uh, what was the inspiration behind the song Kadosh? Because many people love the song Kadosh. It's a very powerful song. Uh, can you just tell us the little secret behind it? Kadosh, <laughs> Kadosh was inspired by my little girl. Uh, yeah, so I think while she was born, I, I think one time I was just with her. Her mom was in, I don't know, I can't remember where she had gone to, but and she was like a small baby, you know, in my hands. And I was looking at how pure she looked you know and how I'm, I'm asking myself how can we be born with sin when we mm -hmm. like we look this pure as children or as babies and just right then the holy spirit just whispered to me do you think this child is pure i said i think the child is pure the child is the what you would say she looks holy and yeah. and it says even with all that purity you see in her it has nothing nowhere near the holiness of God. Wow. That's basically it. And <laughs> right then I sort of like started hearing the, the word kadush and the melody in my in my head. So I have a, a ritual I do. I take the phone and press record and start whispering or because she was still trying to sleep, so I didn't want to wake up. But you could hear the, the babies, you know, uh groaning in the in there. So that was how I, I wrote it. And I'll tell you the truth. Then I know the word Kadosh, but I never paid attention to it. So I had never researched on it. I finished writing it before I went to properly research and realized that Kadosh actually means the holiness of God. Not holiness, but the holiness of God. It's a word used for sacred, you know. So it's a, a description that can only be attributed to God because the holiness of God cannot be compared to anybody else's holiness. You know, and, and that, that was basically the, the inspiration behind it. Awesome. That, that makes me ask you this question again. Okay? Mm. It's a question that I've been asking some of the ministers. You know, some people say that the way they get uh, songs. Their songs inspiration is because some because of the things that they went through mm. or because something that they had. How are you being inspired when writing your songs? Many, many, many ways. I mean, I, I don't think songs are written just in one way. Um, sometimes, like I saying, life's issues inspires you to write. Mm. I get to write based on something I'm going through. Sometimes I get to write based on a prayer I'm praying to God. There are times I get to write based on an answered prayer. And so it becomes a song. I get to sometimes write based on a word that I'm reading that hits my spirit. I get to write when I'm in a service and a word just... And there are times you are in, a, in, a, in the middle of... I was in the middle of a service. The pastor was preaching. He was almost done. And all of a sudden, I hear as if, like, the, my surrounding was blocked. Mm -hmm. So I could still hear him, but I couldn't hear him. But rather, I was hearing, like, a loud voice just saying, Give me oil in my life. May my light never be dim. So I thought somebody was whispering around me. So right there, I again take the phone. And in the middle of the service, I do give me all your life. And so you can hear the pastor saying, Lift your voice. Come on right now. And he tells him, Give me very, give me very. Like I, I, and then later I take my time listening to it back again, you know, write down everything else. And then sometimes what I would then do is expand on all the other, or sometimes I'll go do a scripture um, check on it because every song has to have a, a scriptural backing or, you know, be in, in, in alignment with the word. Mm -hmm. And once in a while, too, you receive songs through dreams. I've had, I've had that situation. I'm going somewhere, and I hear voices. Mm -hmm. I didn't know where it was coming from. It was drawing me closer. Because I get there, and it was a lot of women in white scarves just crying out to God. And the song they sang, I was trusting God that when I wake up, I'll remember. And I woke up and I remembered. Sometimes you wake up and you don't. So song writing comes. And then there are times you just say, you know what? 
this message, I want to write on it. So you take your time and sit and write it. So it comes in different, different forms. Yeah. Uh, I, I, what's the, <laughs> if I have to do a collaboration, I have to feel it in my heart and I have to be convinced by the Holy Spirit and I need to have a relationship with the person, not just, yeah, not just because you're famous or, yeah. Uh, even with Joe, it's because we know someone and then God just uh, um, made it happen like that. But um, I will not just invite someone because uh, he's popular or famous or, yeah. We have to have one heart. It has to be the same vision for uh, all of us so that we can move to the same, in the same direction. Yeah. <laughs> It's amazing. <laughs> I think uh, one of the things I've looked forward to, I think Joe does not know this, but I have followed him for quite some time, over <laughs> 10 years. Wow. Uh, um, in fact, I was telling him, uh, there's one of these songs we love singing here, uh, Mokobeni Tamobo. Uh, that song, we sing it here. In fact, thank God our, our worship minister is also here. From it's how you say the thing like... The word right is, <laughs> is amazing. Yeah, yeah. So I've looked forward to meeting him as well, just having conversations. And uh, for the few hours we've talked, uh, I've just seen a kindred spirit. Being one spirit, that tells you how people connect in the spirit, yeah. the spirit realm. People just yeah. connect, yeah. yeah. And so I'm grateful for the honor, and I'm also grateful to Jane as well for allowing me to be part of this, you know. Like you said, she could pick, I mean, there are so many people who, yeah, can be on this platform. And she, the thing is, she challenged me to do my own song, of which we got a song, wrote it, and uh, on Sunday we are going to sing that song. It's a beautiful, beautiful. It's a beautiful song. Wow. So I'm looking forward to what God is going to do through this. And I am, if you ask me what I'm feeling, gratitude. Yeah. That's what I'm feeling. <laughs> I was looking for my phone. The scripture I was looking at, uh, I've been looking at it for quite some time. And it talks about how this was Joshua when he was leading the children of Israel. And by the time uh, he, he passed on, uh, the second part of that conversation talks about how there is a generation that rose up that did not know the Lord, the God of the Israelites. Like, they did not know the acts and the things that God did. And then it continues to say, they did what was right in their mm -hmm. eyes. And for me, when I speak to a generation, the generation that is coming up, I pray that there will not be the generation that does not know the acts of God. That consistently as we desire to grow uh, uh, in the different areas of our lives, that we should desire that the growth is also in relation to our spiritual growth, which is in God. Because we need, as a nation, let me tell you where we are at, we might look for answers in the right policies and appointing leaders, but as we've seen over time, even those leaders who we think are believers have failed. 
So there is need for a consistency in the relationship we have with God from a personal level. And that's what I would encourage the young people out there, that even as they come, the cry of my heart is that there will be a generation whose heart is inclined to God, that when we are seeking for solutions, there will be God-led solutions. In as much as there's so many places we can get solutions from, but let the ground it be from the word of God. In fact, it takes me back to what our national anthem says, justice be our shield and defender. That is such a strong testament of who God actually is. So, yeah, that's what I would encourage them. That's what I'd say. For I praise, I would invite them to come. Because in the spaces of worship, we get to interact with God and pour our hearts before the Lord who hears us. And with a grateful heart consistently, he listens and he blesses us. Yes. How, how do you hope that uh, uh, the theme of gratitude will impact the lives of those who will attend the concert? Well, like, ah, I always call her my bishop. Anyway, she's here. <laughs> Pastor Karimi. Pastor Karimi herself. <laughs> so the Psalms 100, I go back to it, verse 4 and 5. It says, Enter. Enter. Password. with the password thank you yeah. so for me <laughs> that they will come with thankful hearts things have happened things are going to happen but consistently have a heart that is grateful because in their lives we know there's something that God has done that they are grateful for in as much as there are things that might not be working there's one thing and in fact the conversation we were saying is Maybe you should share this out on the 7th of July as they come. List seven things mm. that you are grateful for. Yeah. Seven things. And we are going to pray. We are going to worship. Basically, we are coming to worship and give thanks for what God has done. So that's what I would tell them. Yeah. Maybe can you tell us of a time where you felt like, like uh, you needed to be grateful for all those great things that God has done to you? Do you have a specific uh, time? Oh, you want his seven? <laughs> <laughs> I think this particular one, being involved in gratitude, wow. this, this is big for me because I've trusted God and I've looked forward to being in a space where I could interact with people, the same spirit that are called to worship God wholeheartedly and God has allowed for me this this platform so I'm so I, I'm actually very grateful because for me this is a big thing that I even get to write a song and it's recorded mm. that's big uh, from where I come from you call it Manogi Maduong Yani it's big yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah so <laughs> I am grateful yeah that's that's what I would say yeah Hi. <laughs> You're supposed to ask the yeah. Okay, you finish. I'll, I'll answer then. I'm saying that what he said last one. <laughs> you, can, you can't let her go free like that. Yeah. I know you have your own favorite artists that you've done for Labo Gay, the ones that we inspire for Labo Gay. Now, one internationally, who is your favorite? Who is your favorite? I can't answer that question. I choose, I, choose, I plead the faith. I mean, I have, a, I have a lot of favorites. I have people who, who over the years have blessed my life, uh, both. When you say local, you mean here in, in Kenya? Or what is it local? Oh, many, 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 many artists. Like if I, <laughs> if I say and leave names, I'll get in trouble. So let me not say names, but definitely. I've, I've, I've been coming to Kenya for a while. Not only that, but even before I started coming to Kenya, I had, relationship with a few Kenyan artists and, and I think a few have blessed my life with their music and um, internationally too, yeah, quite a lot. I know I'm not saying anything, but I'm saying something. Because <laughs> I've had the opportunity of having to work with artists all over the world, so sometimes it's hard to pick names from the UK to the Americas to um, Canada to Kenya, South Africa. So I guess that my life has been impacted by too many people. Mm. Too many people. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. 
Yeah, one, one of these days I'll give you names, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> right, uh, let's give to Karimi to, if she's the host actually, yes. she will welcome us <laughs> and tell us if you are welcome to join us. Or we should go back to her. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Oh my gosh. Uh, wow well, guys, thank you so much for this opportunity. As you've had, my name is Pastor Karimi. Mm. I'm the worship pastor here at Nairobi Chapel, yeah. Bong Road. And it's such an honor and delight to just host these wonderful people who have been preparing this meal meal started being prepared last mm. year mm. and mm. it is such a privilege to be in the background and just <laughs> observe and watch as God has pieced all the pieces together and we are delighted to serve the meal this coming Sunday. Um, Jane is a wonderful sister and friend and um, I've just been in the background interceding for her. I keep telling her we are praying for you <laughs> two more days, three more days to go. And uh, just being joined by these wonderful people who make the, uh, the list of people who will be ministering this weekend, it's a privilege and an honor, as Dulo has said, mm -hmm. to see the men and women of God come together and grace us with their presence, not only, but also to lift up the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. um, we are living in turbulent times, mm -hmm. but the Lord is faithful, mm -hmm. and he has allowed for this event not only to happen here at the Ruby Chapel, but also in this continent. Mm -hmm. And it is not a mistake what God is about to do as we partner together to lift him up this uh, Sunday. And we are sure that he will honor the preparation that has gone on behind the scenes. He will honor the faith of the people who have worked tirelessly, not only the talents that are on stage, but also the numerous number of people who are working behind the scenes, the production teams, the media teams, everyone who has participated in making that sure that this event is successful. So we look forward to this event and we know that we'll all be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much. So, Dulo, please tell us the artists who are here. Yeah. They are flying. They are flying on their way. They are coming by. Actually, they are going by road. So, we have, uh, uh, we have the amazing Derek Jones. Derek. Uh, that's the, 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 the Derek Jones. Uh, who will be coming in tonight. Uh, we have uh, Gazzoni, Susan, uh, from JCC as well, will be here. We have Minister Jackie Gashiri. Uh, we have Andrew, Andrew Ngelelo, an amazing uh, worshipper as well. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, we have our host, yes, uh, who will be also serving and ministering with us on the day. Yes. Oh, yes, uh -huh. yes, 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 we have Kambu and Anton. Um, I think it's part of that conversation as well for, uh, before you finish, tomorrow we have our workshop. Yes. We have our worship workshop happening at Satan Valley Road from 9 to, uh, from 9 a.m., yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, breakfast will be served from 9 to 9.30, then from then on we commence the conversations, the worship conversations. So we invite you to come, especially worship leaders. Uh, we're going to have very interactive uh, conversations concerning the spaces that God has called us to in ministry. And Joe is going to be a part of the panels that are going to be there. Mm -hmm. So you are welcome. Karibu mm -hmm. san. So uh, thank you so much. Yeah. So Joe, <laughs> so in Kenya, so. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah. So, Joe, my thing. So, in Kenya, when it's your birthday, you always score water. So, are you ready? Mine is ready. So, they do that anymore. So, let me confirm if these guys are ready with water because, yes. because you don't want the day to the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> they do it everywhere, though. They do it everywhere. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> you, you won't bring me cake, you are pouring water. No, and then we, we have to pour your water glass. Uh, 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 <laughs> so we have a.
Kata teki tukule sasa Kata teki tukule sasa Kata teki tukule sasa Tukule sasa Kata teki Yes Kata teki sasa Kata teki sasa Kata teki tukule sasa I'm saying about the cake As before you got it The cake is nice The cake is nice And I want to say thank you for for this um Honor than me, thank you. And um, so we, we walk out. I'm cutting it. There's no July born here. No July. July. Oh. July. oh, yes, yes. So please come. Please. So July, July bonds. Yeah. They say July bonds rock. You know, it's not. They do actually. You know. <laughs> so we cut this cake in the name of God the Father, the Son, hey. and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So I'm supposed to come more. Since it's my cake, I won't you let you eat sing everything. and uh, eat before me. Yeah. So you have to eat first. I have to eat first. Okay. Okay. I have to eat first. Eat. Why are you doing that? <laughs> is that how you're saying it? Eat. Eat. <laughs> okay. So. Let's eat first. It's salted caramel. Oh. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Amazing, Please, amazing. can we eat now? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. So. <laughs> 